All right, so here's the two next to each other. Just, just, just horrifying. Uh, lucky me, the set screw came loose. Uh, the fan fell loose as soon as I loosened the set screw. Just turn it counterclockwise. I, I only got about a quarter of a turn, and the fan just fell loose on the on it. That's good. Um, usually, from what I understand, people have to fight with it. So, that's pretty good. So, what we're looking at here is too much flash. There we go. So, you can see we've got uh, horsepower. Got RPMs. We've got rotation direction. So, th those are kind of the, the biggies. Now, I did get this replacement straight from Goodman, so I'm, I'm sure it's sure it's fine but it's good practice to check anyways maybe they sent the wrong one so we've got rpm is 1076 and 1075 so that's terrible it's wrong and it's broken and we'll have to order a new one and see you guys later now nah, it's it's fine it's that's pretty close voltage is important focus is also important 208 to 230 right there so now that looks like 206 got to start over this is all wrong uh, <clears throat> but that rotation is important apparently some there's our rotation we're, we're good here uh, but just so you know some motors will have extra wires coming out of them they'll look like this well kind of like the capacitor ones but they'll have little plastic fittings that are connected to each other. So it'll look like there's two wires coming out that are plugged into each other. And then there's another two wires that came out that are plugged into each other. And it looks like they don't go anywhere. They both, they all four just go back to the motor. When that happens, it's usually, uh, it usually means that that motor is reversible. So you would unplug one pair, unplug the other pair, and then swap them and then plug them back in, and that would reverse the direction of the motor. But in this case, we don't really have to do that. But just uh, let's, take, let's take a moment here and appreciate all of this wonderful goodness. Get in there. Pretty nice. So our motor turret spins freely. See the flat right there? That's where the set screw is going to rest against. And then here, yeah, don't look very good. Now, there was a screw in there. It is conceivable that the screw got uh, lodged it between the fan and the housing. It's unlikely, but uh, the point is there can be things that will cause undue wear on your motor. Uh, dirty fan... You know, dirty, just dirty, just dirty will will cause it. But uh, that extra wear will make you burn out faster. And we can see here, that's not going anywhere. So that is in bad shape, and it is definitely the problem. So we're going to go ahead and swap it out. Oh, let me show you what the, uh, the fan looked like. This, huh, should be a cap. That fall free. Well, if there's missing parts, I'm sure I'll find them. So that's the fan with the, uh, the set screw and the motor not attached. This is the side with the, uh, actually this was the side with the motor. So we'll flip it over. And this fan is going to get cleaned up. You see that's not very clean looking right now. There we go. So this is where the motor shaft went. It ran right, right through here. This is the side with the set screw. So the flat side faces this way. And then that set screw, as you can see, just pushes up against that flat. So as soon as I loosened it, it fell free. So you might have a, a harder time with it, but uh, should just need a little tap, tap, taparoo. 
Alright, let's swap out the motor. <laughs> 